while since I filmed a video. Um, not much has been happening. Haven't been on the road thanks to the COVID stuff. Made it really hard to advertise, made it really hard to run. Everything was super complicated. I didn't really want to mess with it. So now we're getting back into the swing of things. We've got some developments. We got some things on the go. Want to explain some stuff? F450, it's still happening, believe it or not, after all this time. Just can't wait to get in that thing. Can't wait to start working it. Also, I got some things. Um, let me start the truck because it's baking in here. There she goes. So we need an oil change before we get on the road. So we will be going to Canadian Tire to get that. I'm gonna go with some Rotella and a Napa Gold filter. Air conditioning on, not very often we're using that these days. So a lot of you have been asking what the hell this gizmo here is. Some of you were able to guess it is a shifter. It's a paddle shifter. So right here on the 2011 Up Super Duties, the got buttons here. Um, so what that does is it lets you change the gears. The gears are going up and down. See the story behind this, like I've always wanted one always wanted one of these like a paddle shift or something to use while I am driving the truck see so like if I'm in the 10 and 2 position on some twisty roads towing a trailer I can change gears that's what that is meant for when it's in drive if I want to gear down quick it's there in an emergency if I want to gear down quick to help me to stop the truck and trailer that's there so I'm certainly planning to make a whole video about why I use the paddles, how I use them, when I use them, where I use them, the whole works, explain all that to everyone. But that is not this video. Um, geez. I just wanted to explain what that thing was because it's made a few appearances now. It's bright orange because that's the only plastic I had. Yeah, it's something I've always wanted because I always use the buttons, saves the brakes. Um, it's good for emergencies. Gives me more control over when everything shifts, um, burns less fuel, the whole works. I've always wanted to make one, and I needed a 3D printer to do so. Now, 3D printer, if you don't know, it's just something that you feed plastic into. It's like basically a fancy hot glue gun that's automated, and it prints things out of plastic layer by layer. So that's what this is. It's printed layer by layer. Uh, it looks really good because I got a good printer to do it. Instead of stopping there, instead of just making one for myself, I decided um, I would print some for you guys or whoever would want some. So that is available. I'm after printing like 40 of them. I'm thinking gonna sell them like 25, 20, 25 dollars each, something like that. A lot of R&D went into that. A couple prototypes, broke some uh, on purpose and one by accident, just figuring out the way to make it as strong as possible. I've been using this one now for over a month and I'm using it all the time, constant work, and it's 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 holding up perfect and it works amazing. Designed it, printed it. This thing is like my creation from start to finish. Planning on making them for the RAM and the Chevs. The shifter column's a bit different on those, so I'm gonna have to play around with the design, but pretty much the design is final. I just need to make it for different applications. I'm probably just going to put my email in the description. Please don't email me uh, just for random stuff. Please only email me if you have like serious business inquiries, uh, want something hauled, or you want one of these things. We'll do PayPal and I'll ship it out, Canada Post, whatever. We are going to stop into Kent now because for the 40 things I need screws and like hardware to keep it all together and I'm going to go in there and get it actually a warm day. It's been super cold and rainy. Max is going to have to stay in the truck, unfortunately, but we're going to close this. Oh, some shade feels nice. Going to leave the AC on full. Should be good. Max. Hey, buddy. Yeah? Are you, are you, are you going to wait for me for a little bit? You're not going to go anywhere, are you? He's a pretty awesome dog. Been chilling with me through the whole COVID thing. Ah, uh, it's good to be back on YouTube. I actually kind of missed it. I didn't really know what to do. Maybe like it was like some sort of weird depression where I didn't want to film stuff because of everything that was going on and it seemed like everything was so sensitive and you know, I wasn't on the road. Let's head into the store and see what they got.
So of course they had everything except for the one I wanted. They had the one inch, the half inch, but not the three quarter inch, which is what that one is designed for. Damn it. So I threw the black one on, uh, just for shits pretty much. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, if I say so myself. It looks almost factory, if I dare say it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Rolling up the Canadian tire here. And there is a lineup to get in. Oh my god. The lineup doesn't look too bad though, so I think we're gonna try and go for it. The problem I'm having now is I can't get the tire changed. Like I got one really bad tire. I mean they all got to be changed. I cannot get an appointment to get these tires changed. So I'm going to show up to a shop and uh, we're going to professional tire here in Ghana. We're going to see if they can just do one. Even if I have to take it off myself and put it back on myself like just with the bolts they can break it down and change the actual tire, that would be fine. Um, I'm gonna talk about the F450 right now. Not sure how I'm getting to Montreal, so we still got the, all the quarantine stuff on the go. If I go to Montreal, pretty much I'm not gonna, like the biggest delay with Montreal is that if I go, I'm not gonna be able to see my family when I get back for two weeks. It's what it is. So that's been a huge hindrance for me because I always said I didn't wanna put this trucking job over uh, family and spending time with you know loved ones and everything but I made a commitment to get this truck made a commitment to you guys I, I and I just I just want this truck really bad so I'm gonna figure out gonna go there if I gotta spend a couple weeks doing whatever it's fine things are relaxing at the same time so it's not so bad better time now than ever to go get this thing got a load coming back up I'm not sure if I should get a ride down with a friend or if I should take the F-250 again, because it's shorter, and grab the stuff I'm taking up and hooking that trailer onto the 450 and then doing what I did basically when I picked this one up. That is a good video, you should go check that one out if you haven't. So yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get it, but we are going to get it. Uh, the money's there, just a matter of a how and figuring out exactly when. All right, hopefully they can do something. Yeah, they're not able to do anything. They're super busy. Buddy said if I take the tire off myself and just get them to switch, you know, the tire over, they, they, they should be able to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I'm not without a truck uh, for the rest of the day. <laughs> Anyways, I got the bottle jack there and I got the impact. So it should all be, it should be fine. It should be fine. For anyone in the world of Hotshot, this is the best tool you can have. Alright, new tire. That should get us to Montreal to grab the 450. got the tire changed so we're that much closer uh, to being able to leave. I highly recommend those guys they know what they're doing and they didn't even charge me uh, because they said he said well you you went down there in the yard and you took it off yourself and I didn't have it balanced which might have been a mistake and he said yeah don't even worry about it so I have to give him a little shout out that is that's pretty awesome Definitely going back there again. That's professional tire here in Gander. Thanks, guys. Vehicle's there for sure. I hate this. just got taken out by an ambulance um, I, I guess it wasn't like a full-on emergency or else they would have had the lights on and I probably would have got ran rammed into but oh my god like I didn't look at the intersection like I usually would like I probably should and 
and almost got annihilated by an ambulance. Like, I am the type that usually looks, like, both ways, even at a green light, but I didn't, because it's, like, almost 12 at night, and I guess being tired, I didn't look. I don't think it was a near miss. Like, I guess it wasn't that much of an emergency, and he was prepared to stop, but I was not prepared to have my life flash before my eyes. That was freaky. I'm not sure if I got it on the dash cam. I likely don't, so, oh well. He had a light turn green. I had to downshift a couple times because I had it left in third gear using manual mode when I, I'm just testing out the little flippy shifter here. And so anyways, down geared a couple times and then pulled out right in front of the ambulance. And all they had was like red flashing lights. There's no sounds or anything. Um, I didn't have the music blaring. Like I would have heard the sirens. I almost died. That's what it felt like anyways. And the funny thing is, there was a police officer like right beside me stopped at the light. There's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's sore. Come here. He's stiff and he's had him in for a big little hot. You want some food? Come here, give me the bowl. Give me the bowl. Freaking poured too much. Definitely need a little drink after after that one. Definitely not the right glass, but it'll have to do. It should be necessary, and it might be like for any power stroke ambulance drivers that might be watching this, or any first responders, like I'm pretty sure it's like, for legalities, like just to honk the horn before you're going into a red light, good scare for sure, having like a an eight ton mammoth with lights on it, just <sighs> Dash cam video, there's no flashing red lights reflecting off anything, and the way that intersection was, I was pointed away from the road he's coming down. I couldn't see anything. Tire done, oil change done. Um, we're just gonna do the tires one at a time as I find shops available to do it. I got these things for sale. A few of you were asking. These are, this is what's on my shifter, on my shifter column. This is like a little paddle shifter for the buttons so that it's easier to shift gears. Um, if any of you want these, I am making them. I'm gonna put the email below somewhere. Uh, you can email me if you want one do shipping, PayPal, the works of it. And if anyone's in Newfoundland, then email me and you know we can meet up, drop you one off. No contact delivery because the majority of them is in black. I can do orange if you wanted it. Yellow, nice, warm, bright yellow. I can do white, like transparent. That is it for today's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. You know the drill. Appreciate it if you did it. And, Danger underscore industries. That is my Instagram. Truck pictures, updates. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. You guys, you guys have a good day.